Good morning. It's rainy. It's rainy. Again. Again. But it's Friday. Yes. So that's kind of exciting. I'm all for the Fridays. And it's Friday for Russ's birthday weekend. Yay. Happy birthday for Russ. Happy birthday. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> hey, happy birthday to me. How was your work? Good morning. Oh, oh that's raining. Right. He's got, he's got invaders. So that's kind of exciting. Maybe turn that down. There we go. All right. It's live. All right. <laughs> it's live. <laughs> that's how you know it's live, folks. <laughs> how was your workout? Uh, workout was good. It was okay. I don't know if it was great. I probably shouldn't do this now. Put right. this over here. Right. Um, workout was good, not great. <coughs> I was a little tired. And I think it's because of uh, legs yesterday. I think I might have over overdone a little bit on legs. Yeah. And carried on to today, so I was a little tired. Okay. But I did do my whole back workout, and I did abs. That's good. So that was good. Did not do a cardio blitz today, though. No. I walked in, and the bikes were all being used, and I'm like, nah. Not right. doing it. That's all right. All right. I did cardio today, so that was a good good day for me. Um, my, It's funny. When most of my muscles are sore, I'm like, okay, they're sore. That's fine. Right. But when my abs are sore, it makes me nauseous. Yes, yeah, so you don't like that. I don't like it when my abs are sore. And mm. I did um, peaks on the, on the medicine ball the other day. And right. It made my abs sore. And so I'm dealing with a little bit of nauseousness from that, which is frustrating. Hmm. But I think that's part of what caused the problem to um, yesterday with fasting, too. Yeah. So yesterday was a fasting day, but it turned out not to be a fasting day. Well, it was a semi-fasting day, I guess. Because, well, yeah, we, we I guess we waited till like, noon. Yeah, but that's still 18 hours, so it's not, like, you know, terrible. It is. So what happened was I just, I realized I really felt bad. I didn't feel good. It wasn't, it wasn't working for me. The raisins were super noisy. Um, and so I said to Russ, I'm like, what do you think? Is it, you know, and he, he, he says to me, well, I can eat. I'm like, well, that's not the question. You can always eat. Like, I can eat. <laughs> that wasn't the question. But so we decided that we would, um, we would go ahead and eat at lunchtime. And then I thought maybe that would be my one meal. Cause you know, you're allowed one meal on a fasting day. Then we went to an event last night right. and they, the, they had a big veggie plate and hummus. And at the end of the event, no one had touched it. And the woman asked, do you guys just want to take it home? Because, you know, she we had talked to her about being plant-based. And I was like, sure. And then so on the way home, I was eating veggies and I hummus. think the hummus was all gone. The time it was. I ate all yeah. of the hummus. It was, I mean, it wasn't a lot. It was probably a little cup, bowl, cup but the and a half, hand, maybe, yeah. maybe. But yeah, I ate all of the hummus on the way home. So yesterday turned out not to be a fasting day, but... I don't even feel bad about it. I don't even like. You don't see me crying. I feel like we do enough fasting that it's oh, yeah. fine. Yeah. I mean, we're, we've been we are consistent twice a week for how many months now? Yeah, and the yeah. only exceptions have been Thanksgiving and Christmas. Right. So, so I, I think don't we're feel like it's a big deal. I think we're forgiving. That's where I look at. Oh, um, you know, progress not perfect. That's all, always our motto. That's it. So um, I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, coconut oil because that's a question we get pretty often right um, first people always say well what about olive oil so then we have to talk about that and we've told you you know olive oil is straight fat it's nine calories per gram there's no nutritional value in it right. it's better for you than eating you know butter right. but it's not healthy there's a difference between healthier and healthy so right. that's what we tell you about olive oil there's like the lesser of both two evils right and I would say the same is true about um, coconut oil, but it's actually worse for you than olive oil is because yes. it's got a lot of saturated fat in it. And some of the arguments for coconut oil being healthy is that it raises your HDL, which is your good cholesterol. Right. But more and more studies are showing that high HDL is not actually good. Well, no, it's not that it's not good. It's just not that it's, it's not, beneficial. There's no correlation. There's no correlation between, between that and, and so that. people with high HDL typically have less heart disease right but people with high hdl typically exercise right so it's not the high hdl that is making them be heart protective it's the fact that they exercise it's their lifestyle right. right so yes coconut oil raises hdl but mm -hmm. that's not necessarily beneficial and coconut oil is a saturated fat and it raises ldl which is absolutely really not good. bad. That's yeah. a problem. High LDL is a problem. And coconut oil will raise your LDL within hours of actually yeah, eating it. I think it. you said six hours? Is that what I can't remember. It was no, no. a really short window. It raises yeah. your LDL. And stays there. I mean, it keeps it elevated for a while. Right. 
And so there are some studies, and people um, like to quote this study that, well, but Pacific Islanders eat a lot of coconut and they don't have heart disease. So eating a whole coconut is different than eating the oil. We've talked about that, that the whole food is different than eating the processed oil. Right, right. So that's one difference. Also, Pacific Islanders eat a lot of vegetables. Right. I mean, they eat a little bit of fish, but they eat a lot of vegetables. Right. So you can't just pick out one thing and say, oh, well, they eat coconut, so coconut oil is good. Right. That leap in logic it doesn't and work. And they're not eating coconut oil. I mean, no. That's that's the key. They're eating coconuts. Right. Big difference. Which is different. Right. So I guess the interesting thing is that there's a lot of people out there that eat, say, you know, coconut oil is super healthy, but mm. yeah, it may not be as healthy as you think it is. Right. Good morning, David. Nice to see you. And to Laura. Laura also said hi. Oh, did she? I yeah. missed it. Sorry, Laura. Hi. Good morning, Laura. She said she's making her oatmeal as well. Yay! Making oatmeal is always good. <laughs> yes. Um, so you made your oatmeal a little different today. Yeah, so today is a little, I, I deviated a little bit today. So I did have the oatmeal, that's always where I start. But I, I left out the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds, and I only used the, the chia seeds and the hemp seeds today, and of course the aimla. But I also added raisins, still have the blueberries, and still have the banana. And, <coughs> excuse me. I guess the reason why is I just, I don't know, I wanted to change it up a little bit, and I just felt like I wanted to take in a little bit less fat today. I don't know. But you're eating cashews. But we eat nuts every morning, so I so it's still ah, eating nuts. Okay. You know, so I didn't add anything. I just took away two things. And this morning before we left for a gym, for the gym, I had a grapefruit. Had a, he had a whole grapefruit yes. before we left for the gym. You know what? I saw it sitting there, and also my body said, "You want a grapefruit?" <laughs> and I said, "Well, I'm not going to argue with me." <laughs> That's so, smart. So I had a grapefruit. So is there a reason why you decided you should take in less fat? Is it because we ate? So we did eat out yesterday. We went yes. to Brio. Right. And they did a really good job for us. We told the waitress we were vegan. She didn't roll her eyes at us or anything. Right. And I asked them, can you just make some pasta and put some vegetables in it and put some marinara? And she was like, yeah, sure. And they were really accommodating, made right. us a really yummy meal. Yeah, but so the marinara absolutely had olive oil in it. You and could, and the, 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 the um, vegetables were also... Were roasted, I think, yes. with some oil. Yes. So there was some oil in that. And I also am pretty sure that their marinara sauce had some sugar in it. Oh, yeah, maybe. I'm sure. But so is that why you feel like you made No, less? no. I mean, I didn't particularly look at it that way. Um, but that's also, that's a good reason. But I didn't look at it that way. Um, I had no problems with the lunch we had yesterday because, like I said, for the most part, I thought it was, it was very accommodating. It mm -hmm. was definitely vegan. Mm -hmm. um, and the only thing that wasn't whole food plant-based was the use of oil. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll post a picture. I took a picture of it. So I'll post that on the And for those who aren't familiar with Brio, it's an Italian restaurant. Uh, and, 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 and that so, Christian all. So, I mean, and again, we've made this argument that that extra virgin olive oil is not good for you. Um, I assume that's the oil they use because it's an Italian restaurant. But right. again, no, no oils in themselves, which are pure fat and have no nutritional value, are good for you. There are some that are less horrible, horrible <laughs> than others. So extra, extra virgin olive oil is less horrible than coconut oil, for instance. Mm -hmm. you know, so from that standpoint. Right. But you just, so you just randomly decided you wanted to Yeah, I just wanted today. to change it up. I wanted okay. to see how it tastes without it. I wanted to add raisins. We've been putting raisins. Raisins are super yummy. Raisins. <coughs> and I've always eaten raisins, I mean, for a long time. But raisins really add a lot of sweetness. And raisins don't have any added sugar. They're no. one of the few dried fruits that you right. can get that don't have and, added sugar. And which we mentioned with their raisins, prunes, um, dates, uh, figs. I think those are the four that we found. I think those are the four that have no added sugar to them if you want a dried fruit. And I, we got some um, frozen raspberries, so I, I added those to my oatmeal today. Yeah. Russ isn't as big a fan as raspberries. He doesn't I don't like, like the seeds. He doesn't like the seeds. I can't deal with the seeds. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's the plan. Um, we have a lot going on this weekend. We're, I'm going to make vegan chili. You're yes. going to make bread. I'm going to make bread probably gonna starting today. I have to make two loaves, one we're, for today and one to bring. We're going to take hummus. So yeah. for Russ's birthday on Sunday, we're going up to his mother's, and we're going to bring vegan chili. Right. Because she was like, I don't know what to feed you. So right. I said, okay, we'll bring something. Right. Uh, we have a housewarming party to go to, so I want to make some corn, vegan corn muffins to take to that. Right. And then it's supposed to snow, which is bizarre because it's 60 degrees this morning. It's supposed right. to snow over the weekend, and then it's going to be 70 on Tuesday. Right. So. That, well, you know what? Those ups and downs are fine for me because it means spring's coming. When 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 winter can't grasp you at twenty degrees for two weeks straight, yeah, it means winter's got a weak spot. It's starting to it's starting to disappear. <laughs> starting to let go. That's my logic, and I'm sticking to it. That works. That's <laughs> fair. So 
Yeah, but that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about was what coconut oil, not as healthy we'd like as we like to think it is. Right. As with all oil, anything processed, you should try to stay away with it, away from it as much as you can. Right. Um, Russ found something about beets and the benefit of eating beets, so right. we're probably going to talk about that on, on Monday. Monday. Yes. And we wanted to share with you guys that you know our fasting day wasn't a fasting day yesterday. It just wasn't a complete success. Didn't work out, right. and sometimes that's okay. Right. And for me, I mean, once we ate, I kind of. Ate throughout the day. I didn't stop at that one yeah. meal. I mean, it never even occurred to me to say that's my one meal. <laughs> it occurred to me, but then it? it didn't happen. Yeah. I ended up eating the hummus in the evening. Yeah, I had so. nothing when we went out, but I did have uh, the pea soup when we came back, mm -hmm. and all that will be on our journal. So yeah, for those that are access to the journal, you'll see that. Yeah, if you remember the website, you'll have access to our our journals where you right. can see what we eat. You can see everything. If we cheat, it's in there. I mean, if I have a glass of wine, it's on there. Yep, we mm -hmm. were really good about making sure everything's right. on there, and our workouts are on there too. Right. So. And I'm going to start on the community page. I'm going to start making sure that I post all of the, like the stuff we got from coconut oil is a video I watched by Dr. Gregor. I'll post that on the community page so right. that those people who have access to it, our members of our website can actually see right. where we get our information. Exactly. So um, if you're getting value from these, we really do ask you to like and share. It's helpful for us. It makes us feel like there's a reason for us to be doing it. I did have a college student reach out to me yesterday and say that she needs some help figuring out you know, what she can make and what she can bring and what she can take in advance. So right. I'm going to start trying to do more of here's what you can eat. Right. So I want to continue to give you guys the science because I feel like that's really relevant and it helps us with our knowledge. Right. And at the same time, we want to show you the simpler, the, the non-scientific ways of doing things too. So we're working on that angle. Yeah, well. the realities of how yes. once you learn to do it, this is actually really easy. Yes, so we're going to start doing that. Yeah, because the key is being able to maintain it. And, and the science is important because it gives you, it, it helps you understand that we're not pulling this stuff out of the air. We're not giving you our opinions based on something we did. It's just, we're really researching it out. Robin's really researching it out, uh, trying to get the details. But then we also want to say, you know. Here's how you do it. Right. Here's a normal way of doing it. It's not that, it's not that stressful. Right. It's not that complicated. Because just telling you what to do isn't helpful. We have to actually give you some how. Right. And then we do support that. Um, Pretty stringently on our website, right. on, on the members page, there's a lot of support to help right. people who are right. trying to make this transition. Right. And we ask for questions. I mean, if, if you have a, di a certain difficulty or if you've come across something. That's how something, we came up with the coconut oil right. thing. Somebody if, asked. Right. And if you come across a, a um, easier way of doing something, please share it. And we will share it with everybody. Um, that's, that's the goal here is to develop a community that can help each other um, be healthier. And not, a, and so I, I'm a member of a lot of vegan and, and whole food, whole food, plant-based groups on Facebook, and the false information on there, I could spend all day correcting the mistakes and the bad right. advice that people give. So our goal is to give you guys really useful advice that is backed by science. Yeah, that's solid. That you, that you, you know, and then we'll send you to the source, so you don't even have to take our word for it. Yeah. Just say this is where we got the information. See it for yourself. Read it and yourself. Judge it for yourself. Yep, absolutely. Right. So as I said, please do like and share. We appreciate the thumbs up and the hearts and, and the, the comments because right. it lets us know that we're not just spinning our wheels and wasting our time doing this. Exactly. Right. Do you have anything else you need to add for them? I think that's it. I think, right. hey, enjoy your Friday. I'll say that much because tomorrow's Saturday, which you know what that means? Here come the weekend. Oh, sing it again. You're a weird human. I am a weird human. <laughs> I love you, but you're a weird human. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Tell them bye. No, kiss us first. And so with that, we will say, <laughs> eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have Thanks. a good weekend. And thank you for the hearts. We'll see you on Monday.